Welcome to my second doll customization video. I went back and forth on a concept for this doll. All I knew is that I wanted to use Gilda Goldstag's face. I think she has the cutest face mold and I've been dying to use her. I decided on a Capricorn. I'm going to use the Great Scarier Reef, Frankie Stein, Gilda Goldstag, and this silk. This doll will have head swapping, color changes, body mods, fur, and loads of sequins. So let's get started. I'm going to heat up both of the doll's head with my hair dryer to soften the vinyl. Now that the vinyl is all soft, I'm going to easily pop off both of the doll's heads. Next I'm going to use my clippers and shave off all of Gilda's hair. Scraping out all of that glue and residual hair, I'm going to pull it out with hemostats through the neck hole. Using acetone, Gilda's factory face and head color is removed. Because I don't need her for this project, Frankie's head will wait in my stock box until I have a use for her. Frankie Stein has neck bolts, so using my craft knife, I just remove those. Now I'm going to give her body a good sanding so it'll hold paint and such. A little bit later I do end up removing those hip fins that she has. They just didn't really go with the overall aesthetic that I wanted the doll to have. And now she's ready for three coats of Mr. Super Clear. Since her body and head are different colors, I will consult my color wheel. Using the opposite color on the color wheel, I can cancel or mute out the colors. Pink will be used for the green body, and lavender will be used for the yellow head. I also used a little bit of green just to cover up the bolt holes. Excuse my lavender pan pastel, it's been through some things. I did two coats of the color canceling hues with MSC layers in between. Now I can use the Peachy Flesh Pan Pastel to make her actual skin tone. I think each part received about three coats of this. They match pretty well. On to her face up. I used a brown watercolor pencil to map out the shapes I wanted for her eyes. The brown's a little bit easier to erase if I make a mistake. Using a general pastel pencil, I started to layer the whites of her eyes. This is going to need many layers. Using a rose color, I'm just giving her a little water line. I didn't have the shade I needed in the pan pastels, so I rubbed my pastel sticks on a piece of sandpaper. I couldn't find mine, so I used a piece of my husband's disc sander. Works the same. a little life into her face. I'm going to give her a little blushing on her cheek, her nose, and her ears. I also am going to start her freckle layers. When my pencils stop actually adding color, I'm going to spray a layer of the Mr. Super Clear to give the face more of a grip or tooth. I'm going to start to darken up her eyeliner and give her the beginnings of an iris. Building more on the whites of her eyes with my pastel, I'm going to also add some highlights where the sun might reflect on her skin and work on her brows. So 
some more highlights and color layers on the eyes. Are you sensing a theme here? has a lot to do with layers and many of them. Some striations are added here in the iris in browns and taupes. Then her eyeliner and her top lashes are drawn. Finally getting some pupils and some bottom lashes. And some bottom lashes. Nope, that's ugly. And some more bottom lashes. Nope, that also sucks. Okay, that will do. Adding some catch lights with white acrylic paint. I love this doll's face mold so much. We are to the gruesome portion of this video. This elk is going to be donating his back, half legs, and his hooves. Chop, chop. Then I'm trimming the hand to be able to attach it to each hoof. I'm sanding the hand to a point so that it can fit into a hole that I will be drilling into the hoof part. Here's the hole that I'm drilling into each of the hooves. A little super glue for strength. I need to make a smooth transition between my Franken hands and hooves. I'm mixing equal parts of epoxy sculpt and applying it to the area where the parts meet. Dry I sand the epoxy sculpt. This ends up not being necessary because I cover it with fur the finished body modifications. Goat hands. I mixed up some acrylic paint to match the body to the arms. This is also not a needed step because of the fur I add. I slapped on a tan taupe color for her horns and her hooves. Once the paint dries, I use dark brown, khaki, and white pastels to give the horns and hooves a little more dimension. Both horn and hooves will get a few coats of Mr. Super Clear. Off camera, I did use a dark brown watercolor pencil between the two nails of the hooves. Here's the fur that I mentioned being glued to the forearm. Mm -hmm. 
I use my comb and thinning shears here to trim the hair to make it look not so long and unruly. I decided on a fur vest for clothing this time. I used DG Requiem's Palazzo and Gaucho Pants shirt pattern for the base. When cutting faux fur, just cut the meshy fabric, not the actual fur. When it's pulled apart, the fur fibers will be intact and not look chopped. test fit on my model doll and on my fishy body to see where I want the fluff to end up. I ran a quick seam down the back portion of the vest. Then both sides of the vest get a seam. I'm going to leave the front open. I'm a pet groomer by trade, so shaping this vest with thinning shears was quite a lot like trimming a dog. front of the vest got some gold seed beads for a more finished look. I'm going to gloss over the hair portion of this custom. My Voodoo Vinny video has a more in-depth look at my process. Using 100% acrylic yarn, I'm going to make wefts that I can glue to the doll's head. I'm just using hot glue to attach the wefts to the actual doll head. And here we go, sequins. I used E6000 glue to individually glue sequins on the whole tail of my girl. It was a very long process. I worked in half inch circles around the tail, slightly overlapping. Once that area dried, then I can move on to the next. I'm putting on some sequins with E6000. And here I'm gluing on some sequins. And now I'm taking E6000 glue and I'm adding sequins. Here's some more sequins. And this may be quite a surprise, but here I'm using some E6000 glue to add more sequins. And see the sequin lined finish line. Ah, the last few sequins go on. You may have also noticed that I added a sequin bralette for her modesty.
dress up time. I added some gold wire, gold chains, and a Capricorn tattoo to her forearm. Placing her new head and she is all ready. Meet Capri everyone. This is my favorite doll to date. I had so much fun with her body mods, her color change, and even her sequins. Every last one of them. you enjoyed my customization of Capri the Sea Goat. Please like, comment, and click the subscribe button to be notified of my future videos. Thank you and see you next time!